desperately been needed. Um, me and little one are just in my room at the moment. Lil's is in her room. I believe she's playing Barbies, hence why we're in here. <coughs> um, and just chilling on the bed. Because we thought, why not? Little one's doing some coming on CBBs, aren't you? Yeah. Um, we're putting the Christmas tree up later. We put a few more decorations up. Took the broken lights down this morning to go in the bin. Um, oh dear. And I need to sort my hair out because I had a bath last night and wash my hair. So I need to straighten my hair in a bit because it's just, this what happens to my hair. It doesn't go nice at all. It just goes like an afro. Um, it just goes like I've been electrocuted really, to be perfectly honest actually. It's a pain in the bum. But anyway, I'm going to get on. I'm going to get my hair sorted for the day. <coughs> we're also picking up a christmas train later from my dad and some extra advent calendars for the girls which is very exciting um we've never had a christmas train but underneath the christmas tree before so very grateful for that my voice is still not amazing i feel fine just sort of throat and voice now it's just yeah a pain in the bum and an itchy nose this morning very random anyway i'm gonna get on and i'll speak to you later so excuse the washing machine and i'm driving on um, we did set this to go on last night, but it didn't. The little one has just gone down for a nap, so I'm going to get myself some lunch and then help Liam put the Christmas tree together because every single branch has to be poked in on our one. I know some are similar and some are different. That's the case of our one. So I'm going to go and help him after I have some lunch because I'm actually hungry, which is obviously good at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm still in my pyjamas. It's like... Oh my god, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon already. Feels like we haven't done a lot, but it's been nice not to do a lot. Um, but it's been nice to breathe and relax and not worry so much and not rush about. So I'm very grateful for this morning being a bit slower. Um, yeah, I have just shared my blogmas from yesterday because oh my god, I forgot how stressful it was to try and show everything and I haven't like finished vlogmas um I can't remember what it's meant to be today and it's not completed it's not up that should be up by tonight I'm trying so if you do want to have a look at my blog there'll be recipes and everything over, over Christmas I shall leave that link in my description as well so I'm doing vlogmas and vlogmas um but why not <coughs> but yeah I'm gonna get myself some food and go see if Liam needs any help so we have decided we're going to go and see Liam's mum for a little bit um, just because we haven't got a birth since last weekend and we're going to see how she is. The girls are very excited. They love going over to nannies, don't you? <laughs> but we've just got Diesel and now we're going to go and head on. It's time to decorate this tree here. Decorate! Yeah, we're gonna decorate! Yeah! Are you excited? tree is officially complete look at that got our special baubles on there that we put on every year um and our new ones like that we've got last year i got that one i just really liked it um yeah little one is now in bed big one is watching the polar express and i'm just gonna admire the christmas tree and the handiwork that liam's done with all the christmas lights as well bless him he's done 
that window now that you can see all the flashing. Every single window apart from the kitchen and the bathroom are done in our flat now. But oh, it's time to chill now. Go have some dinner in a bit. I'm going to get back into my pyjamas in a few. We actually picked up the Christmas tray and we need some batteries for it. And Lil set that up under the Christmas tree. So that looks really cute as well. Olivia absolutely loved decorating the Christmas tree and was fully into it this year. Um, I did have to rearrange a couple just because she put like four on one branch. I kept them in the same sort of area but um, had to just sort of give them their own space <laughs> because she was full on like putting like three or four on branches. But I love our crazy Christmas tree. It's unique to us and that is what makes it perfect. But yeah, I'm just going to chill now. Watch a bit of Torchwood because I've got back into Torchwood. I'm watching the Miracle Day ones. So I'm almost at the end of it all. And I have no idea what else. But I'm going to start editing this as well for you for tomorrow. And hopefully you enjoy our Christmas tree. I'm so happy with it. It looks so pretty. So I thought I'd quickly show you a couple of our special ones. We have got this for Jack Jack. Got this a couple of years ago. I think it was off Etsy. This one was one of my mum's favourites, so this is sort of one of my favourites now. And then we also have this one for mum too. Um, we have our little first Christmas one from 2020, when we became a family of four. Then I've got obviously all the special ones that Lil's has made, and I've tried to date them all, because she makes so many. There's a couple from like years back, like this one, uh, when she was four, look... Um, we got this one from last year. This was from Sainsbury's, I think. And again, I've, like, dated it because I thought that was really cute and sort of kind of retro to mine and Liam's era. Um, got a couple of others that she's made, like this one. And this one. These were both from Rainbows, and now she's going into guides. That's crazy. But, yeah, I thought I'd quickly go for a couple of our special ones with you we have these with the girls names on so there's lily's and where did olivia put hers down here there's olivia's one they are so cute but yeah i thought i'd just quickly show you a little bit more of our christmas in depth lastly our mcdonald's burger one which i won last year in their christmas um competition but yeah that is our christmas tree 2020 too so i'm just about to tackle some housework i've just got a bit of washing up to do and I'm cooking dinner we're having something a little bit simple tonight just because my appetite is still not incredible and obviously liam's not too into anything too crazy so he's quite happy with what i suggested we're having chicken burgers with french fries um and our chip seasoning just something really simple and tasty tonight i might do a little bit of my um gravy as well some fried gravy so i can dip my burger in it because i've got a some fried chicken burger um but we shall see how i feel when it all starts to come together because it's more the smell for me at the moment um and just the idea of food's just not very interesting which is kind of gutting because obviously christmas is coming up and i want to enjoy a good old christmas dinner um but yeah so i've just got some washing up to do Lewis is still watching Polar Express. Olivia, Olivia is fast asleep. I've cleaned the living room up because there was tinsel everywhere. And our cat, Jack, he loves to eat the tinsel. So I had to make sure all the little bits and bobs were off the floor. So he didn't make himself sick, bless him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go on, I suppose. Just talking to you to try and take away from the pile of washing up that is sitting right next to me. It's not huge. It's not huge by any means. In fact, it's been 10 times worse than this. But I just genuinely cannot be bothered tonight. It needs to be done because otherwise I'll look at it tomorrow and think, oh my God. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on and I shall speak to you in a bit. Dinner is eaten. Uh, Jack's got his dinner too. And I've done, wash done the washing up. And Liam has put a film on called The Man from Toronto. It's meant to be a comedy. It's got Kevin Hart and woody something the one from Zombieland. so we're gonna watch that enjoy the christmas tree jack's got his din din so hopefully he'll be over in a bit and we can give him some love and i'm just gonna settle down and chill for the evening